All right, BJJ Ron. Hey, Andy, uh, congrats on the win. You know, all week guys were, you know, saying, hey, we're, we're six points from being 3-0, and and it seemed like the confidence was there to know that, you know, despite one and two, you guys felt, you know, pretty good about where you guys were at going forward. I mean, just to have a dominant game like this on both sides of the ball and, and start conference playoff with a win, I mean, what, what's to say about you guys? Well, you know, starting with the players and, you know, really everybody involved in the operation believing, you know, how close we are. I know sometimes um, – because of all the things that are said and people's opinions, you know, perspective gets lost. And it was unbelievable for how everybody, you know, um, came back to uh, prepare for this week on Monday and all the way through the week. It was the best week of prep. The scout team did the best job they've done. Our young guys are growing and giving better looks throughout the week and competing and challenging the older guys and, and getting them ready for game day. And we just got to, we got to continue to work throughout the week. Um, to play like we're capable of. We've learned enough lessons and now I'm starting to apply those lessons learned consistently. You had, uh, you know, the creativity on offense that we saw, you know, it seemed like really opened things up. Uh, eight snaps by non-quarterbacks today. You had some of the wildcat stuff, some of the jet sweeps. Uh, you bring Scott Matlock in for the touchdown. It just seemed like uh, offensively, uh, Tim Plott really called a good game. Yeah, you know, we've, um, we're four games into it now. So we got a good idea of who we are and, what our strengths are, what, I mean, here's the bottom line. We got to do what um, is best for our players and what they do well and put guys in position, um, rushing the ball. Um, multiple guys, uh, like you said, carried the ball today. How about Hank, huh? Getting some carries and making some things happen. Got to start to make people respect that he will pull the ball and run it so they're not loading up the box on, on the running back. So, what an unbelievable job he did with that package that, you know, Coach Plow put together and um, and uh, we were able to execute today. Those were some big time runs by Hank. How's it going, Andy? What's up, Jay? Um, Andy, you said four games into the season, you kind of have to start identifying what you do well and kind of leaning on that. Apparently, Scott Matlock does everything well because he had five tackles. He had a sack. He blocked a field goal and – he had the five-yard touchdown. How much does he mean to your team? And um, the moment that you guys finally, you know, had Hank pull it and, and throw it with that personnel in. Well, I think that was a play of the, of the most anticipation on the sideline when it came through over the over the um, headset because everyone knew it was Scott's play, and you know we had been uh, repping it for a few weeks now. Um, and it was nice for Hank to lay it up for him. He was he was pretty open, so it was, it was a nice throw for Hank to put it in the old bread basket for him. And you know, Scott's been a tremendous warrior. You know, and and you know, we don't have a ton of depth at his position and how much he plays and how consistent he is. And we're just starting now with those D tackles. We had our best week of practice with the D tackles and the D line, and you know how we're playing up front with our fundamentals and technique. And we got to just continue to build. Um, over the last few weeks, you know, you pointed out that there's been some learning lessons for your team and, you know, you, you have to correct those. How do you feel like your team handled adversity today? Because there were some moments that maybe you guys could have capitalized, but it didn't stop you from ultimately going on and, and securing a, uh, a comfortable 24 point victory on the road to open conference play. You know, we're talking about mentality. We're starting to see it. You know, we're starting to see mentality starts with how we respond. That's football. And um, again, it starts with our week of prep and, and how we build that through the course of the week, how we build the confidence to play a certain way. And when things don't go right, you know, that we stay in the fight. We understand we um, we talk about the adjustments that we need to make so that we can, uh, you know, adapt, overcome and achieve. And, and the guys did an unbelievable job. I mean, it was a tight game for the majority of the day and everybody stayed in the fight. And um, that was exciting, exciting to see. We uh you know, it starts, too, again, with our week of prep and, and the scout team. You know, I can't say it enough. The scout team did an unbelievable job this week. Uh, and, and our young guys and our freshmen, um, now that they've been in the program, and, you know, we got off to a slow start with the freshmen, and now they're doing an unbelievable job. And, and you know what, this win, as much as the people that are here that are on this airplane that came here, this win is attributed to the scout team and the freshmen and how they helped prepare uh, this week. Andy, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Andy, uh, you guys did a great job of, of calling a creative game today. I mean, 
whether it's a Statue of Liberty play or a touchdown pass or defensive tackle, how much does that creative play calling kind of go into the identity of this program? I mean, I think it's always been a piece of it, you know, um, playing an aggressive style defense that we were today with multiple pressure looks. And, um, you know, sometimes you got to work to get leverage. You got to, you know, if teams are going to be that aggressive, then we've got to get them mixed up with their eyes, um, get them going one way and, and uh, do something going another way. And so um, we have plenty of players that if we can get them on the perimeter and in the open field that are, that are extremely talented, um, you know, and getting all those guys, their touches, whether, you know, that's obviously uh, Shaq, CT, you know, the running backs on the perimeter, you know, so uh, we've got to just continue to mix it up and, and get multiple guys the ball. And the defense gave up some yards today, but they came up with fourth down stops. They came up with red zone stops, blocked field goals, turnovers. What can you say about your defense today? These guys, this offense we played today has gotten – unbelievable amount of yards on everybody. I mean, that's what it is. Um, I'm sorry that the, the yards are going to be there. And we, we knew that they're going to get their explosive plays, but how we limit those more importantly in the, in the critical downs, the money downs, how we want third downs, how we want fourth downs. And then more importantly, Hey, they got in the red zone and we battled. And that was a huge emphasis all week. That was a huge emphasis to study, to understand who they are. So when they get down there and our backs against the walls, three or nothing, and so, you know, tip the hat to the coaches for getting the players ready for the players executing down there. Thanks, Coach. Mike and Rachel each got one. Coach, you talked about a week of prep. You talked about everybody kind of grinding this week and how it all started with a week of prep. Did you feel like this coaching staff, uh, how much How much do they have to grind this week with the creativity and everything that we saw? It seems like you guys were just grinding hard this week. I mean, it starts, number one, with identifying the things that, that we do well and um, being able to put players in position. And then, you know what, the things we don't do well is, and, and keep building on those. And so, uh, you know, the, the purpose that the players had, again, whether it's the travel squad or, or the, uh, the scout team, you know, and their, the looks they gave this week, I'll tell you uh, – the guys lifted on Wednesday after Wednesday practice. You didn't even have to watch the lift. You can just go in there and listen to it and tell what they were getting out of it and, and how much better that was this week. And look how they played. They sustained for four quarters. And so it's a, these are all huge learning lessons about how our program, um, you know, the direction we can go and, and where we can keep building if, if we apply ourselves each and every day. Thanks, Andy. I'd like to go back to the Matlock TD, if you don't mind. Uh, he said that he got some flack on the sideline for bobbling the catch a little bit. But, you know, how much do his teammates respect him, you know, for doing something on both sides of the ball? Yeah, I wasn't going to bring that up. But uh, <laughs> you know what? He caught it. So um, the first time we ran that was all the way back in fall camp. And, you know, you guys been out of practice. He's in an orange jersey, right? And we don't put a jersey over him, and the defense is all in orange. So he gets lost in the coverage, and he's wide open. And the quarterback doesn't see him and makes him lay out, and he drops it. But every time since, he's caught it. So – and he caught it today when it when it counted, and that's all that matters. Um, you know, just his ability to have an impact in multiple ways today was huge. And he really is – you know, he's him and Shane are the leaders up front there. and and they did a tremendous job today. Well, do you have one? Andy, earlier you called it the best week of prep for you guys this week. What do you see in practice that makes you say that? Well, I think just the, the consistency from the time the guys hit the building. When, they, when those two feet walk through the door, I mean, just you can hear it in, in the training room, in the locker room. You know, guys – they had something to prove this week. They had a chip, and we need to keep that. That's what Boise State is. That's who we are. Week in and week out, it's about proving something, and it starts during the week and how we work. And we've got to understand that it's going to take a great deal of purpose, effort, and focus each week um, to be able to accomplish the goal at the end of the week. And, again, um, to our, our young players, the scout teams, it was their best week. Um, you know, we had some protocols early on and, and those guys got put behind some COVID protocols and 
their development and where they're at right now is night and day from where it was when we ended camp. So we're extremely excited about some of those guys. You guys saw a med play. You guys, you know, he jumped in there and got some snaps today, backed up Scotty um, due to some injuries, and he did a great job for his first time jumping in there. That's the development we're talking about. we got to keep on with it, you know, on both our fronts. Thanks, Andy. Congrats. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys.